Hello everybody, this is House of Tutorials. Uh, today I'll just be doing a video here on friend points, how they're uh, extremely beneficial to you. Uh, first thing first, uh, you want to do is go to your friends, go to gifts, and then go ahead and click on this thing next to your icon up here. And be able to select whatever you want. If you're just starting out and you need Gil or any crest or whatever, you can do that. But for the most part, I just recommend doing the friend points right there. That's usually what most people pick, but sometimes people pick Gil. Uh, whatever. Um, obviously, you want to pick friends that are uh, active, play at least once every day, whatever. I uh, just went through my list a little bit ago and deleted people that have been off like 20, 30, 50 days, whatever. Some of them, though, are pretty powerful. Like this guy's got 680 attack for lightning, so it's pretty nice so I might keep him a little bit longer otherwise I usually take him off um, but for why you want to get them uh, let me just show you real quick over here so let's go to view let's just select some random one let's see if I can find one here uh, this guy so I already have him mastered but he when you get him up to 100% he gives you stone killer um, so you get several different killers from some of these free units. Stone Killer is one. Another one is Aqua or Aquan Killer, if I can find him. Plus Dragon Killer. So from this other dwarf looking guy, you get Aquan Killer. And then from this chick, you get Dragon Killer. So Dragon Killer obviously would probably be the most used, most useful out of those three, but still having all of them is uh, Quite nice. And another one you get, those three are kind of semi rare. The dragon one for me has been the most rare, but they're all pretty rare. The most common one you'll probably get though is this guy, uh, Riser. He's got HP plus 10%, especially if you're just starting out, that can be very nice. Or even however far you are, if you don't have anything else good to put anybody, you can do that. Extra XP, and then there's some other ones that are semi decent. Uh, usually I'll just sell these once I get full of my inventory. Uh, but those are the best ones. There are some other decent ones. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, he's not really that great. There's one that has escape. I don't know which one he is, but let's see if I can find another one around here somewhere. It's such a mess. Oh, this guy. He's got camouflage, decreased chance of being targeted. I think it's I don't know the exact percentage, like 15 to 20 percent. Uh, it's very nice to put that on support units or healers, somebody that you don't want getting hit at all. And then this chick has Raging Fist, can be beneficial, do unmitigated damage, but you'll get that with the Esper Ifrit. So those are just a couple examples of some uh, trust master bonuses, and uh, trust me, you'll be getting friends points like crazy the higher you level up. Uh, you can have a max of uh, 100,000, which may seem a lot, but I have to constantly do these multi-summons at least once or twice a day or else I get full. Uh, the reason I get so many, obviously having X amount of friends up to 130, the more friends you get, the more you get every day. And as well, doing trust master farming. If this is my group I'm using right now. Every time you uh, do the earth shrine, you get 10 friend points. So, I mean, I've got 99 energy. That's pretty much all I'm doing right now since I'm done with this event. So that's quite a bit, just right there. Plus whenever someone uses one of your, or not one of your units, whenever someone uses your main unit, you get 10 friend points as well. So that really adds up. So let's just go ahead. Obviously you wanna do multi-summons, so I can do them real quick. Let's just go to example, see what we get here real quick. Okay, so no really, Good. The only thing we got are two of these guys, HP plus 10%. Um, the killer ones are obviously, I'm pretty sure they're the most rare ones, especially the dragon chick. She, at least for me, has been the most rare. But as you do this, you'll get multiple copies as well. All right, here we go. Got this dragon chick right there, dragon killer, 5% towards another one. Here's another guy right here, Aquan killer, another 5% towards that. Um, but yeah, friend points are obviously beneficial. There's there's a trial or two in there that have dragons in them, so that's 50% damage. 
uh, that's a huge boost. And obviously for certain events, it'll be beneficial. And yeah, so obviously at some point, once I have probably two or three, maybe four of each killer, I'll probably stop doing it. Plus when I have, I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of the HP plus 10%. Uh, let's see if I can find it. HP, I've got 10 of them, so it's obviously the most common one. Hey, mainly you want this for killers, for the HP. Uh, the escape is nice for certain events you just want to escape. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, camouflage. There are a couple other decent ones, but those are just off the top of my head. So yeah, friends points are extremely beneficial. Uh, mainly just for the killers, but for the other things as well. I just want to keep track of here. It says how many friends points you have. Make sure you don't get a hundred thousand, or else you won't get any more. Obviously, so you want to do these multi summons as many times as you can. Okay, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, but it's pretty easy, obviously, to get friends points. If you're starting out, you're not going to get that many. This is a pretty bad one. Just got riser, but the higher level you are. The more friends you'll get, the more often people will pick you uh, when they're um, leveling up or when they're doing an event, whatever, if you have a higher level unit that does more damage. Okay, so I went ahead and I remembered another unit that is can be useful. Uh, is this chick with the crossbow, Carrie. She's got Sunbeam for her Trustmaster bonus and damage and blind all enemies. So it's AoE damage, plus it has a chance to blind him. That can be useful as well. And another thing for the camouflage unit, this, um, it's actually 50%, so it's 50% decreased chance of being targeted, which is very nice. You can have, I actually ran, um, when I did the Gilgamesh trial, I'm pretty sure I had that on my uh, Ling when I was doing the no item achievement. So that was very beneficial there. Another thing to point out here real quick is every once in a while, I think it's only happened once or twice, they'll have a special event where you'll get other things besides just the free point units, such as uh, Cactuars, I think even Gigantuars, those metal or the, the money turtle things, whatever they're called, and other random uh, goodies in there. So every once in a while, that, that's pretty much the only reason why I keep my friend points high. And in case they, that does come back, I'll be able to get a lot of experience units, get a lot of whatever besides just free units. So keep that in mind, unless you really, really need a certain killer right away. But otherwise, kind of keep it as high as you can and just use it to keep below max. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's friends points for you. Uh, very, I think a lot of people don't realize how important and beneficial it can be. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next video.